Hello everyone. Uh, I'm here at my shop, um, my unique design. And today is uh, March 25th and the time is 7.34 in the evening. So, I've been working on some projects. I've been trying my best. I've been on my vacation for the last week, but I've been off work um, since about a week and a half now because the company shut down for like a week. I mean for four days and then I went right into my vacation which was the 20th through the 26th. Seven. So I want to share some things that I've been doing at my shop uh, off and on all week. But today I came in and sometimes uh, if I need to get motivated I always crochet. And crochet kind of relaxes me and to get my creativity flowing on another project. So I'll show you what I was crocheting while I was getting mentally prepared to cut out pattern for my summer maxi dresses. And I'll show you the stuff that I worked on yesterday also and the fabric I brought. Um, so let's get started. What I'm going to do, I'm going to step out of the uh, screen and just go get what I was working on. Be right behind me, okay? Be right back. Give me a few seconds. So, I'm going to show you a few projects that I'm working on back to back, right? So first, th this crochet stuff, I always just crochet uh, all the time. So, when I'm ready to do a show with my crochet clothing line, um, I present them all together, you know, not all together, not, the, not my uh, fashion line and my crochet line, but I present all the crochet items at once. So, I'm working on this skirt right now. Um, so, this is what I'm working on. I want to make it a little longer. I might add a flounce at the top. So, I was going to make it a long a dress, tube dress. But I kind of like it. I might still make it as a tube dress, but I don't know. Right now, I'm liking it as this little bumblebee skirt. It's three colors of yellow, if you can notice. So, it's cute. Um, let me show you on the mannequin. If you can see, because I'm recording from my tablet, so uh, I'm put her down a little bit more so you can see. I'm not going to put it on it, but I just want to let you see how it will look on the mannequin. It's too small. She's too tiny for this. But, uh, hmm, it'd be cute on her, right? So that's what I'm working on this project. And this is another little tank top thing with crochet thread I'm working on. I'm going to dye it denim blue, make it part of a jean outfit. This is part of my summer line. It's um, a tan color now. I don't like the color, so I'm going to change that, and i got to put darts in the bus part, in the back, you want to see the back, back, it's a halter, see it kind of flares out, okay, let me bring that back up again, so, let's see, I'm going to put this back, I knocked her over earlier, and I don't want to break my new mannequin, my girlfriend right there, I don't want to break her, because I tend to knock all my mannequins over, I don't know, you know, break the stand all the time, you know. But here's another one. Anyway, if I can adjust this so you can see me also. Here's another one that I'm working on. Same thing, you know, I love the two tops. Cute, right? I got another one at home I'll show you. Now one's gonna be a full dress. I actually want to make this a full dress. And I'm gonna close up the bust a little bit more and put little striped things. I gotta go find this color yarn. Uh, this is some of my scrap yarn that I was just finishing up with. So that's what I'm working on. And I got my bin of crochet items that I am working on. That's behind me. And I'm going to show you some of the projects I've been working on. Sorry for getting out of the screen. But uh, I'm going to show you some other projects. I made a bodysuit yesterday. It's more a laundry bodysuit. It was really a sexy little bodysuit. I made it was for me. I made it for my husband. Oh, uh, yeah, for him. Thing, um, and for myself, uh, you know, for me to wear for him, but it was really sexy. And I uh, wore it yesterday, and he was like, Wow, you know, you made that. And I'm like, 
yeah, I designed stuff. He didn't know that I make lingerie. You know, I make everything, you know. So it was a full body suit lingerie. And um, I'll show you what I I brought some fabric from the big warehouse outlet store yesterday, and I ended up I bought hot pink and I bought black and I bought blue. I really like this stuff that I'm making. So this is going to be one body suit. It's hot pink, and I love the hot pink. See, it's long. And I haven't did the top yet. I did attach it, but then I had to reattach it because I surged it and I kind of ripped it a little bit. This was going to be the top of it. So, the very top of it. It's a, like a, it should fit like a size 12. You know, it stretches a lot, so it probably could uh, be from a size 14 because it really stretches. But I'm going to make this top a little longer. Put a waistband around it, so it's going to be, this is the top of the bodysuit. If I can show it to you, this is the top of the bodysuit, and this was going to be the bottom. I'm going to connect it, and then I'm going to show you how it's going to look. And this is the pants part. It's about high waisted, come all the way up to here, and then up to here, and then you're going to have the top. You know that's going to be up here. So that's one of the things I'm working on, and I'm working on the short pants one also. Um, let me show you the top first. Here's the top, and this is this is it's black. And this one made the bodysuit, the black bodysuit from this full bodysuit. And here's the top of it, and the back is pink. It's a two tone, and this is going to be the bottom of it. The shorts. It's going to be a pole body short pants bodysuit. Uh, it's not to wear. It could be. I'm, I'm thinking I'm gonna make this. Uh, this is gonna be like a cover up for a summer, uh, for a swimsuit. I think. I think not. I don't know if it's gonna be something that you can. I originally, originally, it's supposed to be lingerie. So I might just stick to it being lingerie than a swimsuit cover up. So yeah, because you know I was in the stores, Coles, J.C. Penney's. Uh, Nordstrom's Rack and they did not sell really any women lingerie because I went looking for lingerie and I said you know something I'm going to go to the fabric store and I'm going to buy the um, fabric that I want and make my lingerie so I'm starting the lingerie line again for real this time I'm starting here's the other fabric stretchy sheer so it's probably a short pants and all of it's going to be the same because you know I'm not like somebody that like wearing like really nude nude uh, lingerie. Um, I like a little cover up, you know. And um, some women do they like a little more cover up in the whole everything's out naked, you know, just a little teaser. So that's what I'm doing with the lingerie. So I'm gonna stick to doing lingerie with that fabric because that was why I brought that stretch. Uh, see through lace and the other one that the blue one I'll show you and I'm working on my maxi summer dresses also so this is I'm making okay let me see this one this is the one pattern I'm making that one right there yep I'm making that one so I'm cutting out the pattern now um, I didn't realize I had to cut out the waistband because this has a waistband I have to cut out the waistband for that. So that's the one I'm making. I'm cutting out the uh, purple one so far. And um, purple fabric is right here. This purple fabric stripe. I already cut out the pattern for this one. This is the top. The bone is the top. And I'm cutting out. And uh, I have the skirt pattern up here, the bottom of the skirt pattern. So that's what I'm doing with that one. So, um, let me see. I showed you everything that I'm working with. Today, I'm going to go over to the studio. After I finish cutting out this pattern, I'm going to go over to the studio and I'm going to um, start sewing it. And I'll record it when I finish putting it together. So it's not gonna take long for me to put these dresses together. And I'm going to show
show you the dresses when I'm finished. Because I have uh, two more dresses. I got this one also. This is about four yards. I'm going to tell you what I got this one. It's about four yards of this. I, about four yards of this. All stretch knit. And of this one. But this is more like a ball. I thought it probably I can get away wearing it for the summer, but it has this fluffy feel sweater, tightly knitted sweater type of. So I'm gonna make a wrap dress with this one for the fall. I'm not gonna make it now because I'm focused on the summer of my summer stuff. And of course, it was four yards of this, and I still have two yards left of this for making that dress. And I got each one of those, the four, I got one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five different fabric. And it was four yards of each one of them. I paid three ninety nine dollars for each one of those. And I got it at the thrift store. I was just blessed that day and I decided to go over there by the fabric and the craft section at Unique Thrift Store. Uh, I think last Saturday, last Friday. And they had all this stretch knit dresses. I'm going to make myself one and I'm going to have one on the line. So I'm so glad there's so much of this fabric. I'm going to make myself a dress and I'm going to put one online for each, for each dress. So I'm going to cut out some more of this fabric. I don't know if I have enough with the purple and silver. This one to make myself one and to put one online and this one is not four yards this is like three yards it might be four i'll see it looks like three yards it actually looks like three yards of this one. but let me finish doing this stuff and i'll come back and i'll show you what i am doing when what i have done when i finish uh putting these items together these holding together okay so god bless and i'll talk to you soon Bye bye